all the bees attached with that. So the nuke is a small hive with four or five bees? Yeah. And this is just a package of uh, three, three pounds. pounds of bees. Okay. With the queen. Queen comes in a separate container. And uh, one thing I didn't bring was gloves. She's been uh, uh, with these bees for a while now, so they get they've gotten to know her. So we should be able to just release her into the hive. And you have to be careful doing that. Because if you you do it up here someplace, rather than down in the hive, mm -hmm. she can just fly off and then you got a queenless hive and that's oh. That's not good. Right. You'd have to go out and buy a new queen, otherwise the, the bees will eventually die. Right. Did you mark the queen? You know, I don't know if Andy marked the queen or not. I sort of doubt it. And I haven't done that in the past. Um, but I keep records on my hives on uh, when they've been introduced and when they get treated. All that good information. When I add a new super. Okay. Andy was explaining how he, how this is done to me this morning. And will you show everybody what the hive tool looks like? They, you get different types. Basically, it's a, a, a tool that you can easily scrape with and uh, pry. You know, during the summer, you get a lot of propolis and these get glued together by the bees. So what is that you're doing right now? This is a feeder to keep the bees fed while they're inside here for a short period of time. And I don't have a really good grip on it. It looks like they're loving it. Yeah, they're coming out with it. They will want to stay with the queen. She's here in a separate package. That I don't want to lose down inside. She's inside this little cage where the bees get to know her. And I'm just going to set this right here for the time being. And then these bees, let's see how well this package fits in here. But it would have if it wasn't for those sides. Okay, I'm going to have to take out another frame if I'm going to be able to keep that on the inside there. That's okay. So we'll put those in. We'll have those back in later. Can you see the bees on the inside there? Yeah. Like I said, they're pretty docile at the moment. You're not going to shake it, right? Yeah, I'll just turn it upside down, shake out as many as I can. 
how come they don't just leave them like instead of shaking it just set it down like that and then just let them do their thing just crawl out yeah yeah I'll leave this package on the inside and come back after a couple of days. Yeah. But this way you get the. Uh, yeah, because look uh, at how many just came out. Yep. Yeah. You can see there's quite a, a few lot, down there. Yeah, and there's a lot still in there. What do you think, Ellie? Are you thinking that you're just going to be like, I'll just leave it in there and let them crawl out on their own? I would. I would too. Yeah. Don't put any stress on them. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. My so besides these frames that still Gregory. have uh, some honey left over from last year, um, I'll also have some new frames for them to start drawing out. For the queen of lay eggs and these these have plenty of open comb in them too as well as a little bit of capped honey it does look like it has some bees in it too yeah they're already crawling on it yeah okay I'll just i think i'll leave that for the next Queen here. Okay. Let me hive two more. I also Just think got a little plug in there to keep her inside. Digging that out. The natural sugar cube that you got up. Yeah, sometimes they'll put a, a piece of marshmallow or something in there. But this is just a cork. And once I get that loose, I want to have her down on the inside. She is. She's down there now. She right there. Now a lot of times uh, people will only put one story on. Uh, since I'm going to leave the package here, we're going to have a second frame or a second super rather. Then I can just put these extra pieces back in there. See right there? Wouldn't it be easier just to leave that in there? That's where I'm going to put it. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Nice. Top board on, and then the cover. I've got a have a uh, entrance reducer on, and the bees are already finding the entrance down below. Entrance reducer? Yeah. Instead of having the entire front of the hive open, oh. uh, it's a, a piece of wood that goes in there, and it's. Allows you to reduce the entrance to a, a number of different widths. Oh, okay. Wow. So it's easier for them to protect uh, the hive. The guard bees have less area to to have to guard when the population isn't so big. Okay. And <coughs> at this stage, when they're just getting 
to know their hive and the surrounding area. It just helps them stay, uh, stay right at their the own hive.